Hello and welcome to August 2020. Are you feeling a little bit of the shift? <laughs> Are we heading into brighter waters? Um, I just finished the Patreon um, Oracle card reading, energy healing and zap it up first thing this morning. And it was really interesting what came through was kind of this theme of navigating the new normal a little bit, but deciding what that means for us and then taking action, taking those baby steps of action towards what we're wanting to create. So I'm really curious what will come through um, as I'm now going to be channeling and intuiting, you know, for the collective here, this group of you that are watching over there, I was doing it for the Patreon people. So um, I'm using a different deck as well. And I have not been playing with this deck very much. So I'm really curious what comes through. It is Denise Lynn's Sacred Destiny Oracle. And I love this little blip at the bottom. It says, um, a 52 card deck to discover the landscape of your soul. So let's dive right in. I've been shuffling. I didn't want to just shuffle on in front of you the whole time. So I've been shuffling behind the scenes and uh, just asking what the messages are that we need to know for August 2020. So let's see what happens what comes through so again I just go through the whole deck and as they stick oops let me get my hair in there I pull them out wow is going to be a good one. <laughs> My goodness. Okay. Got to have the deck going on. All right. Let's see what, let's see what's going on here. Ooh, I love this. Okay. Diligence is the word. You may not be able to see it on the bottom of the card there. So this ties in with kind of what came through in the last reading, but um, really getting the sense of obviously being diligent, but really I'm feeling more the energetics behind it. I'm feeling um, a sense of personal power from within. I'm feeling it um, in my um, solar plexus. I'm feeling this uh, welling up. So stay strong, stay the course. I'm really getting a sense of um, yes, taking the baby steps and taking that little bit of action towards what you're wanting to create, but also staying true to yourself and really like kind of owning it within yourself of what you're doing. So there's this, like it's a diligence to yourself, to yourself and your process. So hopefully that will resonate. Nice. Transformation. This whole year, I feel, has been a transformation period for us. I feel like um, for some of us, it's recognizing, this card is confirming and recognizing for you that you are in a state of transformation. And for others of us, it's letting um, you, you, us know that we are um, coming forth now as the butterfly, that we're finishing up that phase of transformation. So there's the feeling I'm getting is we are really integrating what has been transpiring, what we've been clearing, what we've been healing, what we've been recognizing as we've been going within for the last, you know, six months, um, four to six months. What does that mean for us? So there's this transformation taking place. So some of you aren't recognizing the full extent that you are having a transformation. So allow yourself that, allow yourself, I'm hearing like a pat on the back, give yourself a pat on the back and really allow yourself to be proud of yourself for the steps that you've taken, for the places that you've been, for the things that you've gone through and gotten through and learned from and experienced. And then now as you're coming out the other side, um, I am hearing, yes, we have the hindsight, uh, but I'm also feeling there's a real power and a confidence coming from this uh, recognition for yourself. Opportunity. So what's coming through for this card is two things. One is I feel like, so the darkness on this card Megan, makes me feel like we're kind of blanketed. We're kind of blanketed in and maybe we are not 
noticing the opportunities that are around us. And then again, there's another group of us where it's like, grab onto those opportunities, run with the opportunities. I'm feeling a lot of momentum. I'm feeling action. I'm feeling like you're not even looking back to stop or see, <laughs> see what you just did. There's a real sense of like just going for it. So whichever one is resonating with you, if either of them are resonating with you, then that's the one for you, right? Um, I just want to tune into that blanket a little bit. And so again, they're asking me to remind you of like the message I've had for 2020 of the open door of infinite possibilities. So if you are feeling blanketed and heavy and like there are not opportunities for you, this card is your reminder that there are opportunities and you may just not be seeing them pull the blanket down, you know, pull the blanket off, like allow yourself to breathe a little bit, maybe do a little brainstorming, but there's, there are opportunities there. So you may just not be seeing them for the opportunities that they are. All righty. Ooh, going forward. I love that a path through the green grass and the sun shining in the distance there. Like we are really going towards something. So kind of the collective message since the reading this morning that I've been getting is like things are settling in a little bit after the last few months of, you know, turmoil and upset and, you know, our, our new normal. I don't really like calling it that. I really feel like, I feel like the first half of 2020 has been all about going inward, figuring out what's really working in our life and what isn't working, what we want and what we don't want. And now we're kind of coming out the other side, heading towards, you know, that bright light, going into the tunnel, going into the light, finding, forging our way on the path. But look how much space there is on either side, how it's not this path through a bunch of dark trees. It's this path of open, complete openness. You can look all around you and see what your choices are, see what, what is there around you. So to me, that's really telling us that, again, the infinite possibilities, but we can choose where we go and there's, there's a vastness, there's an openness that is available to us. We don't have to stay on the path. Like we can still see our journey, even if we're over here in the green, you know, going off to hug the tree first or something. Right. So just, I'm hearing like play with what those opportunities are, play with your path a little bit. Um, maybe, maybe it's time to veer off the path for some of you and veer into, you know, the meadow of the unknown a little bit, but while still being guided by the light and being able to see, I don't know, there's, there's something, there's all of that is working together for you right now. Patience. Some of you are struggling with patience. Um, this I'm also hearing is a card to confirm and recognize your patience and recognize the processes that you've been in the experiences that you've had and what that means for you and the other thing i'm hearing also is to be patient with yourself be patient with your process with your experience with the things that are happening around you and again uh to kind of give yourself some kudos for that. I mean, patience isn't necessarily the easiest thing, um, trait to have, especially when we're like waiting, not waiting for something. So there's a real sense of, um, you know, using the patience, but also going with the flow, which is kind of allowing like, right. It's, it's all kind of working together with, um, being patient, going with the flow, but allowing everything to unfold as it will. But there are some of you that really need to give yourself some props what, what, for being patient, for being in um, the energy that you've been in, for the experiences that you've had, but the, but the way that you've navigated through it is, again, back to the flow, back to the patience. So I really do want to commend you on that. Stillness is this one. And... I just kind of feel like shutting up right now. <laughs> um, this to me is, is more telling us where we have been 
in this mode of going within, of stillness, of figuring things out, of navigating things a new way. Some of us are still in there. Like I know for me, I'm still in this mode. I'm still in a mode of introspection. I'm still in this stillness mode and I'm finding new ways to navigate that even more, to go even deeper. So that might be the case for some of you as well, but I feel for the for the majority of us, we're probably coming out of the stillness. So, so to me, it's this integration of the last few months. There's an integration of, you know, how we're living now, how things are different now, but it's more for me what's happening energetically and internally regarding, you know, really how we want to show up in the world. So, you know, pre-world events, because, you know, I don't like saying the name of it, um, to give it any energy there, you know, we're busy, we're scattered, we're doing all these 50 million things. And now over the last few months, we've been in quarantine, we've been isolated, we've been, you know, off our rocker, <laughs> off our rocker, maybe <laughs> um, mentally, um, emotionally, but really what I meant by that was, um, you know, we've been out of our routine. So there's been this stillness and there's been this recalibration and this integration of what our new world looks like for us. I'm talking about an inner world, but I'm also talking obviously about the outer world as well. And you'll notice with the outer world, just a little side note is, you know, as things are opening up, they're then kind of closing up again. There, you know, there's, there's a, there is a, a movement of, uh, you know, the world is trying to figure out how to navigate itself now and by that i mean the communities or the states or the countries that you're in so there is a sense of um i would say you know again a recalibration and they're trying to figure out what works and then if it isn't working they're backtracking and they're going you know a slightly different direction so um, that's happening internally and energetically for us as individuals as well next card is adventures so again, this, I'm like, is that, it looks to me like a waterfall-ish, but I kind of feel like it's a ray of light as well. So take it how you will. But um, to me, this, I just feel really open when I saw this card. I felt like things are opening up, um, even mostly within us. Obviously the world is opening up a little bit too, but, but we, we are really opening up and we are figuring out again, you know, what it is that we're wanting, what's resonating with us now. So what is the adventure? What are the opportunities? Where, where are we going to take ourselves next? So this is a real, um, charged card to me of, you know, infinite possibilities. So what is, what is your next adventure? Simplicity, little feather flying in the wind. So again, this kind of goes back to the stillness card and the patience card and, you know, the transformation card even. So um, there is this sense of, you know, maybe we want to keep it simple now. Maybe we don't need to be doing all the things um, or being so busy. What, how how can we keep the simpleness simplicity or simpleness going forward if we so choose right so um i can already feel some of us like scoffing at this card but for the majority like it feels kind of good doesn't it to just maybe consider that it doesn't have to be like it was before you don't have to feel like you did before with maybe being scattered being you know busy 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 going in all these directions what if you could tap into the simpleness a little bit and bring that simplicity um, and that stillness with that swan into your life a little bit while still preparing for the adventure so these can all go together you may not have ever thought that or felt like that was possible um, especially for those of you who are always on the go, always, always, always busy, which I never as an introvert really understood because it just seemed exhausting to me, but a lot of you are like that. So now is a great time to kind of reevaluate if it's still useful for you, if it still resonates. So get your focus. I love this. Um, I really, I haven't even actually looked at all the cards in this deck. It's really pretty. We got half the deck right here right now. All right. So focus to me is 
is speaking to the adventure. It's speaking to the next steps. It's speaking to the action. There is a little bit of kind of pulling it in and getting grounded and like, what is the focus? What is maybe the next goal? What is, what is it that you really are wanting to create? So there's some focus behind that. Uh, I thought there was going to be something else, but nope. Okay. Freedom. Freedom. So the main message is, to me, it feels like there really is a lot of freedom right now. I know we don't probably feel free with being isolated or quarantined, but there's actually a lot of freedom, energetically speaking, back in regards to what we can create and the infinite possibilities and the door to possibilities be open. I've been talking about this for all of 2020. So to I'm just checking in with this energy really quick. So it does feel like, and I probably said this last time, but I know I've said it all my lives. It feels to me like the further we get into 2020, the more expanded this feeling is of the infinite possibilities of the energy being there for you to hint, start your own business, um, do something different, do something more in alignment with your soul. Uh, so this to me, it exemplifies all of that energy. All of that energy is that we really have the freedom to live from our soul style is what I'm calling it, our soul place instead of like, what's our lifestyle? I want to talk like, what's our soul style? So there's a freedom with what we can create now. So to do that, you just need to get honest with yourself and tap into that energy that you have inside those passions. Um, do a brainstorm session if you want of what could that look like? What could your life look like now? That's been the theme again today too, is this brainstorming. So um, start getting out of your heart a little bit and get into uh, your energy and your body and your soul and what what is wanting to come forth? What is your passion inside? What makes your heart sing? So let that let that fly, let that freedom fly out. Rawr. <laughs> oneness oneness so this so there's two messages here one is ha, ha. one is that this card is showing us the oneness that that we've had um that we've just been experiencing it as this whole world nobody is exempt from what's happening in the world events right now and that is really interesting isn't it it is affecting everyone in some way or another, some multiple ways. So there's a oneness. So this is, to me, this card is showing us um, where maybe we hadn't felt oneness before as a universal, um, universal being. Then it's showing us that now. And it's also like, it's weird because I'm seeing it. I'm said there's two oneness to this card, but really I'm just seeing it the same thing, but it's like part one is the, is the before. And then part two oneness is going forward with a different kind of oneness, which we've been experiencing a lot of different things going on in the world. Um, things that have been coming up that we're allowing, that we're healing as a, as a people, right. As a, as communities. So more of this oneness is coming in. We've experienced it in some ways and it's still coming in. So it's just a reminder and a confirmation of the oneness that we all have and share. This card says change. I had to double check it with my eyes to see if it's a chance. So uh, I love it because the action card in the other deck I was using this morning um, had horses. So now we've got uh, we've got this, um, like carousel horse on a, on a balloon. So to me change, you know, this, if you're thinking of like a hot air balloon, which is what this looks like to me is, um, when you go, I've never done it, but I've skydived. So it's kind of the same, but so when you're going up in a hot air balloon, you know, you get to see, you get to see all around you 360 degrees. There's no, um, you know, there's no box, there's no anything. So imagine yourself riding the back of this carousel horse floating in the air and the, I don't know, get a different perspective and open yourself up to what 
could be the change, what, what you might want to change. It feels really good. I like that one. Ties in. Awesome. Voyage. Voyage. So to me, this is inner voyage. This is what's happening with us right now. This is a confirmation of, again, the transformation, the changes, the adventures that we will have next. We are on a voyage. We are not done yet with our growth for we never are, but, you know, with our growth for this time period for what's happening right now. So if you start looking at it as a voyage, as um, maybe an exciting time, instead of maybe the heavy energy, like feeling like maybe it's holding you back or holding you down, there's this voyage, there's this um, excitement of the trip, the trip you're on, the voyage you're on. Voyage feels a lot bigger than a trip, though, doesn't it? Using that word. Potential. I feel like a lot of us are tapping into maybe some hidden or dormant, I'd like to call it, potential from within. So start asking for that to be shown. Um, I'm really interested what my potential is. I'm really curious to see my potential universe. I just wonder what my potential, what's this potential that wants to come out? What is it? So start speaking to yourself in a different way to start getting, allowing that to come out, seeing what that, what that is. Oops, I didn't think we were already done. Last card is protection. I do, I do feel like we are protected right now. Uh, I feel like some of us aren't feeling protected. So this is a, a, a reminder confirmation that you really are protected. There really is universal protection. Um, you can call in your spirit guides, your guardian angels, your archangels. I mean, there's protection for you. I'm reading a book right now called, um, oh shoot, if, if Trees Could Talk, Holly, Holly Wharton. And so I'm like, go hug a tree. <laughs> you need to go hug a tree. Um, there's your protection. So yeah. And the other thing coming through is a real feeling of groundedness, of being grounded, of feeling grounded, of um, the strength. I'm looking at this tree and and it's funny because normally I would always go to the trunk, but I'm sensing all this, um, the, the branches and the leaves are really to me what feels grounding in this in this picture right now. Um, so tap into that and maybe you do, maybe this is also a message for you to ground and maybe you need some grounding. So let me know how that resonated and I look forward to seeing you next time.